have you ever looked in the spring and are like, gosh, it, it could get dry. There's a technical term for that that's called a drought management plan. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if it doesn't rain in April, uh, you know your grass production is going to be down. Mm -hmm. And so you know you should start identifying which, which bunch of cows is going to go to town first because you won't be able to feed them. And if you wait until everybody's grass is gone and everybody's hauling cows to town, they're going to be... They're not worth as much. They're have less value. Yeah. A drought plan might be that you feel you can run X number of cows every year. We know how to take care of grass by building uh, root reserves. The big rule is you don't let them bite off the same plant twice. So once, if you leave them out there and let them bite off that same plant twice, you're reducing the root reserves. Same thing in the fall. Those increasing cool season ones have another spurt of growth in the fall. And, and if you, you know that you're gonna be abusing them, if you let that be grazed, especially if you let it be bit off twice in the fall too, and that weakens that particular species for th going through to come in the spring the next year. And so you're, you're using that number of yearlings that you can take in as your clutch mechanism to account for the differences in the rainfall.